Hello and welcome, dear followers, to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I've brought you a light and delicious recipe, date dough sweets with nuts, in a wonderful and simple way. And of course, if it's your first time visiting the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss any of our special recipes. First, let's start by preparing the date dough. We'll need about half a kilogram of ready-made date paste, or you can prepare it at home if you prefer. We take a medium bowl and add the date paste along with one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, mixing them well until the cinnamon blends smoothly with the dates, giving it a delicious flavour. Then, we'll move on to adding the nuts. For the nuts, we'll be using walnuts. We'll take about one cup of walnuts, place them on a tray, and pop them in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for around 10 minutes until they get crispy and ready to be added. Once we take the nuts out of the oven, we'll break them into small pieces and add them to the prepared date dough. Mix everything together so the nuts are evenly distributed. Now, it's time to shape the dough. Divide the date dough into two parts to make it easier to shape. Take each portion and start rolling it using your hands until you form a neat, smooth roll. Try to be precise in shaping it so the final look is nice and consistent. Once the rolls are ready, grab about half a cup of toasted sesame seeds and spread them out on a wide plate. Roll each date, dough roll in the sesame seeds so it's fully covered, giving it a beautiful golden colour thanks to the sesame. After covering it with sesame, Wrap the roll in plastic wrap and place it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes to firm up and make it easier to slice. After the roll has chilled completely, take it out of the fridge and use a sharp knife to cut the roll into evenly sized circles, about half a centimetre thick. This way you'll have delicious sesame-covered date sweets, ready to serve with a crunchy texture from the nuts. My tip for keeping the sweets looking nice is to be precise during the shaping process and to divide the dough evenly. Also, chilling the roll before cutting helps maintain the consistency and gives you neat, well-shaped slices. Finally, I'd like to thank you all for your constant support and ongoing encouragement. If you try today's recipe, be sure to share your experiences in the comments. And once again, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss out on our new recipes. Thank you and take care.